guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a nice little person here. This is my niece, Emma. <laughs> and today we will be doing a DIY for Mickey's treat. Now, some of Disney's theme parks, they have a lot of Rice Krispie treats and some marshmallows and they're awesome. Like, they're off the hook. You definitely, if you're in Disney, you want to try at least some of them. Um, so what we tried is, you probably can't see it, but I will put, um, pictures. We will be dipping some of these beauties. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I did some Rice Krispie treats yesterday, and we will be dipping them and sprinkling them and showing you the, um, outcome of it. So I hope you like it, and I hope you like my little friend here. <laughs> so yeah, it's her first time on TV again, so I don't know how she's going to be, but we'll see. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is a nice little Mickey Rice Krispie. And what you do is you follow the instructions of the Rice Krispie cereal um, and leave it overnight. I left it overnight in the fridge only because... Since they have so much marshmallow, it tends to get very gooey. Um, and I didn't know how it was going to be the consistency with the chocolate. So I left it overnight, and now I took it out of the fridge, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty, um, it's not hard, you guys. Don't worry about it. What you have to do is cover it up um, well, and it'll be fine. So I will be dipping the ears. With the help of a spoon, I'm also going to put a little bit of the chocolate on the ears because it's kind of hard to do it, um, to dip it. I should have probably thought of doing it with a deeper bowl, but we work with what we have. <laughs> My niece looks like one of those translators. <laughs> She's translating to you guys. <laughs> everything that I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the Rice Krispies and then Emma's job will be to put on what? Sprinkles. Yes. She's excited about that, you guys. So, here you go. You want to make sure that you shake off the excess and I'm putting it on a, on a plate right now so it's easier for her to do. Yeah, whichever one you want. There you go. And she's putting on. <laughs> there you go. So we're going to keep dipping these and putting on the different types of sprinkles. Um, show them. No, leave it right there. Show them um, the sprinkles, please. See that is sprinkles. Um, and it's pretty much, I'm sorry. It's pretty much the Halloween um standard sprinkles. You could get those anywhere. I got those at Party City, but I'm pretty sure they have them everywhere because I've seen them in Target and Walmart. Um, I've even seen them in CVS, so it's kind of, they're pretty standard. So. <laughs> so, let me see. So I have, yeah, I know. <laughs> so they <laughs> They have different sprinkles. They're pretty much all um, Halloween themed. And they do have sugary. But the sugary, we are going to leave it for the marshmallow. Hopefully they come out good. And sprinkle away, my dear. <laughs> yeah, which are really cool. There we go. And now, one of the... Um, cookie cutters that I have is a Mickey Mouse and it's like the whole face. So for these, I did put a little bit of sprinkles um, on top of the Rice Krispie. As you can see, they're not um, plain. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to dip in the bottom of it and I'm going to transfer it to wax paper. So we're going to do a marshmallow now. <laughs> My whole me manka. Yes. <laughs> she reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune lady. <laughs> okay, so 
we have two kinds. So I have smaller um, marshmallows. Well, actually, I have smaller sticks. So I did the three marshmallows, right? And then I have the longer stick. It still has the three, but it just has like a um, easier stick to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. And what she's going to do is um, Emma is going to dip the marshmallow. It has been on a stick. And she's going to dip it into the chocolate. I'm going to help her with the spoon, you guys, because, like I said, I didn't think this through all the way. So, if you're thinking of doing this, you might want to get, like, a mason jar. Um, If you have an empty mason jar, then you can just put the chocolate in and dip it. Okay, hold on. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to pass it. But slowly, okay, because you don't want you don't want um, the marshmallow to come off the stick. Okay. It looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right. So I'll hold it and you sprinkle it, but not here. Hold on. Here we go. So what I did was I did a, a different station, which is basically whichever one you want. But it's probably not going to show because it's black. She's choosing the Actually, black um family sugar. Um, she wants the purple family sugar now. Don't do it from so close. There you go. Because then you won't get enough of it. Can you just use the old thing? No. <laughs> See, it doesn't show. It doesn't, um, if you're going to use chocolate, um, milk chocolate, just make sure that instead of, um, Using the fanny sugar, to me, I think it will be better if you use the sprinkles so they'll stand up more. Um, I do have white chocolate, but I did not melt it, so I can't use it in this tutorial right now. But I'm thinking maybe um, we can do another one. What do you think? Of something different? Yeah. And use the white chocolate, right? Because, yeah. I mean, Halloween is not here yet. We can still try other recipes, you know? So... I think huh? Oh, I don't know about the zombie. <laughs> so, what sprinkle should we put on this one now? No. Okay. So I'll hold it. Um, these are the ones we use. It has. They might not see it, but it has the um orange and black black um little balls. Yeah, that's what they are. They'll probably get all over the place. Oh, those are cute. You see how they stand up more? Yeah. Put some on the top too. Yeah, these are real cute. Mm -hmm. Once they set, it, it'll be easier. I have a scoop here because I was thinking of doing the sanding sugar with the scoop, but I think we'll save that for later. We can do pretty that much. Like yeah. Pretty much what I have is a fork that I thought I might need um, for the Rice Krispie Treats, but you really don't need it. I just want it to be on the safe side. Um, I have a plate where my Rice Krispies are, and I have some marshmallows that are waiting mm -hmm. to get dipped. Mm -hmm. They're going to be delicious. And we can get sprinkles. Yeah. And my sprinkle queen here. So... Which one? The other one? Oh, yeah. those are cute. Those are, those, um, I like red and sour sprinkles, but yeah. they're like, um, black, orange. A lot of people, we call them sprinkles, but a lot of people call them jimmies. So if you know what jimmies are, then that's basically what we're using. We're using jimmies, and the, <laughs> the round ones are more, um, I guess we can call those sprinkles versus the jimmies. The jimmies are more elongated, so. And it will be good. Okay, there you go. I think these are coming out awesome, that one. You did a good job. Check out the bottom one. A little bit more. There we 
really fun. Okay. So, yeah. So we're gonna let these set, you guys, and I'll show you the ending product. Um, it is a school night, so I believe Emma might have school upstairs. I don't know if these are gonna set before. Um, it's her bedtime, but you know, we'll get this. Um, gonna I have three more Rice Krispies. We'll finish that in one marshmallow. We'll finish those, put it in the freezer, and we'll freeze those that. And you'll get to see this beautiful face again before we get off. <laughs> see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so these have set for 10 minutes. I put them in the freezer, so some of them have set a little too much. So, <laughs> we won't be seeing it, but let me show mine first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, apparently this one's already ready. So, this is what they look like. And they're covered in the back. So this is some of them. And Emma has the other one. <laughs> and she wants to taste test one of them. So there you go. Thank you. That's the one that she first made. You good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So there you go, you guys. All you need is one box of rice crispy. One um bag. I actually did two bags of marshmallows just because I like mine a little bit more gooier than the rest. Um, and one container of I think I used maybe like a cup and a half of chocolate. I melted and I still have plenty of leftover. And one of the containers of the sprinkles, you guys, and voila, that's all you need. The sticks I didn't buy because I already previously had them. You don't necessarily have to do the marshmallows. You'll only need sticks basically for the marshmallows. Otherwise, feel free to do the Rice Krispie Treats. And if you don't have Mickey Shake um, cookie cutters, that's fine. That's no problem. If you have any other type of cookie cutters, you can use it. And, you know, just experiment with your kids. It's a nice little treat to have um, and to do with your... Um, children or niece or nephew or whoever so enjoy you guys until next time don't forget to subscribe like share with your friends i'm gonna try to put the button here i think whichever way i'll put it somewhere <laughs> so yeah you guys until next time bye <laughs>